Let's come to C programming tutorials. Um, in today's tutorial, we are going to learn about um, function arguments. So, how to define the arguments of a function and how to pass values to a function. So, before we start, as usual, I would really appreciate if you haven't subscribed to this channel, Learnorama. I would appreciate if you uh, uh, subscribe to this channel. And if you haven't, or, or if you would like to become a fan of the of the page Awesome C Programming Tutorials in High Def on Facebook, uh, you could do that also. And I would appreciate if you could give me any feedback or, some, or comments or something. Uh, that, that would be appreciated also. And if you like these tutorials, please click on the like uh, link on Facebook or uh, click on the thumbs up button on this uh, tutorial uh, thank you so much uh, so let's get started so we were lock working on we were talking about function and in our previous tutorial we basically define a function which did not take any arguments okay and all it did was basically print a couple of messages so it was a pretty s simple uh, straightforward function just to demonstrate what a function is and how it's declared and stuff but in today's tutorial, we are going to define another function which basically will will take some arguments. Okay, and what were the arguments? As we saw before, we basically uh, the way we define a function is the is the return type, then the name of the function, whatever the whatever the name uh, you would like to give it, and then parentheses, and then list of arguments. So you can have multiple arguments in, defined in the function. And this is how your your function should look like. Okay. So what what do we what do we uh, what are we gonna do here? Let's take for a, for as an example again a very simple uh, function. Uh, what it's gonna do is let's say we write a function that will add two numbers. Okay. Very simple. Okay. It will add two numbers. So if you think about it, you know if if suppose you know you always think of function as you know yourself so suppose if i am the function that can add two numbers so what would i need very you know ask this question what would i need to do my job my job is to basically add two numbers okay so what would i need to basically add two numbers i would need two numbers right so there i i need two numbers as input and i'll add them and i'll do something whatever whatever i have to do i i will do with those numbers right so input arguments are basically like input to the function so in this particular example if you want to write a function that will add two numbers we will have to basically pass the numbers as the arguments to the function and this is how you do it okay so again, so far, first thing you want to do is return type, and f we're not going to worry about return type. We'll just say void here, okay? In the next tutorial, we will see uh, what the what the return type uh, is uh, means or what what it does, okay? And then we have to name this function. I always name the function. You can name anything you want. You can name it ABC if you want to, but always name the function for what it does. So okay, what does it do in our case? It adds two numbers, right? So let's call it add, okay? Add or you could call add two numbers if you want you could call this two add two numbers let's call it add for for short keep them short but not too short short enough to explain what what they are they're supposed to do and not too short that you know you cannot even understand what they are supposed to do okay and then followed by the list of arguments so this is where our arguments list are going to go and as we as we saw that here in this case in this particular example um uh, the function is supposed to take two numbers okay in other words two integers okay so how do you define that just like we declare fun we have been declaring variables in here like int a and int b right we have been doing this just the same way okay just the same way you basically declared the f arguments and this is what you do int a comma these have to be separated by comma int B okay A and B are two numbers that we basically that whoever is going to call will have to provide to this function whoever has will is going to call will have to provide this function and then this function will will be adding those numbers now let's leave it leave it here okay and what we are going to do here is basically call this function so this information I'm just trying to demonstrate here that this information is more than enough 
for you to be able to call this function okay this information this says that this is a function add you know which by name it says that it's going to add two numbers and this is what it's going to do it's going to basically add this number and this number whatever we pass now these are like dummy parameters okay these are like dummy variables okay we have to the caller has to provide the actual values of these variables so so let's say let's say and a is equal to 2 and b is equal to 3 suppose we define it this way okay then we could call add a comma b see this so a and b we pass these two variables right here okay the values of these two variables right here okay so the value of a was 2 so 2 goes here the value of b was 3 because of this call when this function is going to execute the value of a is going to be 2 the value of this argument b is going to be 3 now here it so happens that these variables have the same name as these variables this is not necessary so in other words i could have i could have int x equal to 10 int y is equal to 20 okay and then i could call and then i could call add sorry add x comma y okay this is perfectly fine as long as the first parameter has the same type as the type declared in this first argument and the second parameter has the same type as it is declared in the second argument this is a perfect call that's all compiler wants to know okay so what's going to happen it's going to call this function with the value of 10 so a will become 10 okay let me bring up my my pen here so once this this is called once this is called in this example the value of a will be 10 why because the value of x is 10 so whatever the value of x is that's going to be passed not the variable itself so the value of x is 10 10 will be passed and the value of a will become 10 and the value of y is 20 so 20 will be passed here so the value of b will become 20 okay so now is the time to basically define as to how to add these numbers okay and what this function is going to do is to add these two numbers okay so let's def you can define your variables here int result okay result is equal to a plus b this this statement will add a and b whatever the values are and put it in a result and then let's print out this result the sum of percent d the first number and percent d the second argument is percent d the result okay and let's pass the values here for this percent d we want to print the value of a okay for this percent d we want to print the value of b and what will be the value of a and b whatever this function would be called from so these are dummy dummy our va variables we don't know at this point what the value of a and b is is but whatever the value of a and b is you just add these two together get the result and you just print this so this is what we said in this function okay and then here is where we basically call these uh, this function okay multiple times with different variables so let's execute it press f9 oops again i did it again this is just this is not a valid c syntax i just this was just showing the syntax so i run f9 it runs this function and look at this what did it do first thing we called was add a b the value of a was 2 the value of b was 3 so it said the sum of 2 and 3 is 5 okay second thing we call was add x y okay and it came here the value of x was 20, 10 the value of y was 20 a becomes 10 b becomes 20 a plus b with 10 plus 20 is 30 and then it displays this message the sum of 10 and 20 is 30 thank you very much keep watching these tutorials thank you so much